Hey coach, welcome back to our channel. If you're brand new here, make sure and hit that subscribe button so you can stay updated with all the newest videos we have coming out. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to start a basketball camp. I've had so many coaches recently on Instagram who are basketball trainers reach out to me and ask me this question. So today I wanted to go into depth on how to do this even if you're starting from scratch. And I'm gonna show you three steps to take Make sure, comment below if you have any questions about these three steps. And I'm assuming that you're a basketball coach already. This means you've either coached teams, you're a high school coach, you do AAU basketball, you have some connection already with basketball players, basketball families, and people of influence already in your city. And if that's you, pay close attention to these three steps. All right, so here's step one. If you want to have a successful camp, you need to make sure that you have a registration system. And this is the number one problem I know most basketball coaches have when they try to run camps. And this is what they normally do. They'll have a camp and they allow parents to pay at the camp. So they're collecting cash or checks. And we know that's not gonna work because you might get 100 commitments saying, hey, we wanna come and then maybe 10 or 15 actually show up. And then out of those 10 or 15, some might not even pay. And that is a fundamental problem that has to be solved from the get-go. So instead of doing it that way, you need to do everything online. And I recommend using the same payment processing company I use, it's called Samcart. And if you go to the link in the description, you'll be able to see how you can access that for free for 14 days. That's exactly what I use to run all of my own camps. I've been using Samcart for the last four years now and it works flawlessly. So you need to have that in order to run successful camps and clinics. Now moving on to step two, we have to have a well thought out marketing plan. And this all comes down to organizing and figuring out what is your camp? Is it a skills camp? Is it a camp to learn how to jump higher? Is it a camp to work on confidence? Is it a three point camp? What is the camp? All right, so be specific. What is it? Who is it for? So is it for high school players? Is it for middle school players, elementary? And the more specific you are, then the more specific you can be in your marketing. And that's why you have to have all the nitty gritty details of who is your camp for? And once that is determined, then the marketing it really all just comes down to getting your message in front of parents who have kids that are within that age group that you want to train, okay? And let's say maybe you don't know anyone who is a high school basketball player. Well, what I would do if I was you, I would network with every single high school basketball coach in your city and let them know about what you're doing. And even if it's a free camp, this way you can get more exposure within your business by just networking with all the high school basketball coaches because they already have access to all the kids you would ever wanna train. Okay, so that's step two, marketing. You gotta market your butt off. You can't just post a flyer on Instagram and expect kids to sign up. That's not gonna happen, okay? You need to learn how to write emails. You need to learn how to talk to parents over the phone. You need to learn you know, how to really market yourself to separate you from all the other basketball coaches that are in your city, okay? And lastly, all right, we talked about first the registration, we, we talked second about the marketing. Lastly, you have to create, and this is what I, I always say this in my videos, but you have to create a category of one camp. And really what that means is your camp is significantly better than any competitor in your city. And we know if you just go on Google, go Google today, basketball camps, the city that you live on. And, and you'll see so many different trainers now who are trying to start basketball camps. They've already have established basketball camps. And what you need to do is come out of the gate different. You need to be better. You need to have a higher quality service than they do. And this way, when you run your first camp, you're going to have repeat customers to every single camp that you do in the future. And if you don't have that set up, then you're just gonna be running these one-off camps and the lifetime customer value of every single client that you train is only going to be worth like 20 or 30 dollars if you just run one camp all right i'd rather you do this to where you have camps that are set up monthly and maybe you can build a monthly membership for your camps this is something i teach all the coaches in our inner circle sports business mastermind if you want to learn about that click this button right here 
and this is where I can show you how to build out monthly clinics and camps. That's it for today's video. Like I said, if you're brand new, hit that subscribe button. Comment below if you have any questions. Go check out those resources. And again, click this button up here to learn more about our mastermind program. I'll see you soon. Thank you.